Welcome back, you guys. Welcome to part tour of, part tour. That sounded like it was French. Welcome to part two of our Nashville house tour. My name is Shara, in case you're new, and we just moved to Nashville. We are renting this house, and I wanted to show you guys kind of just like the initial move in, what we've done to make the most of our space, and just kind of how it looks. Let's get started. When you first walk up the stairs to our second story, you have the kids' playroom. Okay, I love this open bonus room because all of the windows are so bright and airy and so fabulous. This sofa is from Article. I am gonna deem this the perfect sofa for a playroom for a couple of reasons. One, it is modular, so you can customize it to your size preference. Two, it is rounded, so nobody's getting hurt. Three, it has the best fabric known to man because people can eat on this, kids can eat on this. Someone spilled a drink on it yesterday. I almost had a heart attack, but you would never be able to find it because it is a dark green color and it covers a multitude of sins. You wanna know the other thing that covers a multitude of sins? The rug. I love this rug. This rug is amazing. Like, I think this rug is totally clean and then I vacuum it and it sounds like I'm vacuuming up like crushed chips everywhere and you would never know it because it just hides everything because it's this like mod podge of colors. Now, the other thing that I got from Article are these awesome C side tables. So these are great because they literally go over the side if you need it. They can go off to this side if you need it, depending on what your needs are. Remember back in the day when I only bought aesthetically pleasing pastel color toys? <laughs> and you all laughed at me because you knew it was coming. Yeah, well, it's here. And I fully embrace the life of a boy mom with all kinds of bright colors. And I actually think it's kind of cute to decorate with all of the trucks. And then I can switch them out because Lord knows we have a lot of trucks. But these are from Target. These are awesome for organizing. It's also easy to clean up. You don't want to clutter those little holes. You want to keep them open and sparse. That way visually they can clean up and they know where everything goes. And then we have all of our lovely stuffies. I feel like the stuffies just grow every year. We have this awesome guy. I'm gonna link this below because this is really cool, okay? I did not put a coffee table in here for an actual reason because the kids love to set this thing up and then this guy pops out and here we have our very own slide. These things save you on a cold, rainy day or on a hot, hot, hot day where all you can do is go in a pool or stay inside and it cleans up really easy. Over here, we have the grocery store. In case you needed to pick up some extra bread or grapes, you know? And then, we have the glorified nugget. If you don't have a nugget, what are you doing? The kids love this. You can just go to Pinterest, by the way, and look up all the different configurations, and they get so excited, because you can build like a robot out of this, or like a shark's mouth. These are from Article, and I absolutely love these. It has the push-to-close cabinet door, obviously open shelving, but I decorated with, obviously, things that they love, that they use all the time. I can swap these in and out. A lot of these are the Love Every toys, which if you've never heard of Love Every, you need to, because Love Every is just, Amazing, I just love them. They send kits every three months, like as your child is growing and developing, and they're specific to whatever growth stage that they're at, so it's like challenging enough that they're interested in it, but easy enough that it works for whatever like development stage they're at, and it's aesthetically pleasing. They're like cute toys, you know? Now how cool is this cabinet? Love that it's a slatted door. I think this is so cool, very modern. I also love, my mother-in-law pointed this out, it's almost impossible for them to pinch their fingers when they're closing this because it closes all the way to the edge. You know, it doesn't have like a thing that sticks out to where they can get their fingers stuck right here. I love that we framed the wall with a frame TV. Again, the frame TV is my best friend because when it's off, I don't want a black box. I want some beautiful art. So if you're in the, in the market for a frame TV, just a heads up, wait till Black Friday because they always have good Black Friday sales. Can I just say something about this plant, everybody? I bought this plant in Hermosa Beach when Tyler and I had just got married. Brought it with us to San Diego, brought it with us to Tulsa. It is the easiest thing to take care of. I have forgotten and abandoned this poor plant many a times. And as soon as it starts looking wilted and sad, you just water it and it perks back up. And I am not good at keeping things alive. I have killed at least four fiddle leaf fig trees, at least. So much so that Tyler has forbid me from buying another one until I'm done having babies. Love these little poofs. These are from Gather. They wipe clean, so they're really great for kids. They are light. 
They can use them when they're building a fort. You can move them around and it's additional seating or a little footstool. And then over here, look how cute this little area is for the kids. If they want to do an art project, they want to draw, they want to color. And I just feel like I found the best layout possible for this space and I'm just really proud of it. I know some of you are going to freak out that there's this like drop over here. Lots of you have already told me on Instagram. Listen, I hope I don't eat my words, but I'm just going to like train my children not to jump from high places. Isn't that like possible? Y'all act like it's not possible to teach them that like jumping from here is going to be deadly. How cute is this long live brotherhood? I know it's kind of like fraternity vibes because I have like a sign or a flag on the wall, but it's also like toddler frat life, you know? I got it on Etsy, I'll link it below. Okay, let's go look at the boys' room. Okay, so now let's go look at the boys' room. Okay, so Brody and Sawyer are sharing a room in this house. We have enough rooms for them to sleep separately. Yeah, but Sawyer kept waking up in the night when we first moved here and he kept saying, I don't wanna sleep alone, I don't wanna sleep alone. I think he was just scared of being in the new house. This was originally supposed to be Brody's room and we're like, maybe we can fit them both in here. Okay, so this used to be Brody's room. It was a total mess, now it's all in the closet. We are in the process of putting the boys together in here. This is Sawyer's room right now. Well, we were gonna put both of the kids in here eventually, but it's wood in here. It's not as cozy as the carpet, and I, it's hard to put window treatments on these windows to like black them out. And it has been the sweetest, most adorable thing we've ever done. I feel like the boys are so much closer. They wake up every morning. Sawyer gets into Brody's crib and they just talk and Sawyer pretends to read him books. And we have a monitor in here so we can watch them in the morning. And Sawyer always says, Brody, I just love you. And it's just so sweet. So we got Brody's crib right here. We got Sawyer's bed right here. So sorry, but the bed I found on Facebook Marketplace for $50. So many people ask me where I got it. <sighs> Hate to break it to you, but I don't have a link. If you guys saw Sawyer's second birthday, it was Sawyer's Roundup. And we had this made for his party. And I'm like, we should get one for Brody. So we have Sawyer and Brody. Isn't that so cute? I think I'm going to end up wallpapering with that remove, like peel and stick wallpaper in here. These are new. <laughs> yeah. These are from Article. They're Ottomans. They make them in this cube size and also a double wide or double long. I brought these from our house. If you guys remember these, these are actually from our Kensington house. These are also article from a long time ago. Shout out to Paige. Love you, friend. A friend of mine, every time I got pregnant with each boy, yeah, got me one for Brody and one for Sawyer, which is so cute when someone buys that for you when you're pregnant and then they're almost two and you're like, oh, now you're playing with it. It's so special. This art piece I found, at a random thrift shop in Tulsa that the guy gave me for free. This is the other chair I had in my bedroom. But I thought this chair looked really cute in here. So we split it up from our bedroom downstairs and put one up here. If you're blacking out for a kid's room, I do a pull down shade and I do a curtain, blackout curtain. These are really fancy pull down shades that were already here, but you could totally go to Home Depot. That's what I've done in the past. You can buy the cut to size blackout shades. You cut them yourself in the store, very affordable. And you can black out your kid's room and it gets almost pitch black and the sun is beating through this window during nap time. So highly recommend those things. I'll link them both below. These are the boys' closets in here, very big closets, but it's also hiding a multitude of sins. So I'm not gonna open them for you. This is the old dresser that we had. A lot of you love this. This was in Sawyer's room in his nursery reveal a few years ago. Noah's about to have a baby. Well, his wife is in three weeks. Do you guys have one of these, the peanut? If you're having a baby, there is no reason why you shouldn't. Don't do the basket thing. The basket thing like looks cute, but your baby's gonna poop all over the place, okay? Especially those early weeks. Do you guys remember how my curtains were ruined? But Tyler was changing a diaper in the living room and somehow bright yellow poop skyrocketed into the air and got all over my window treatments, which is another reason Ikea window treatments for the win. <laughs> all I'm saying is that you can wipe this thing, you can Clorox it, you just, this is what you need. <gasps> oh, which one's this? Sad, you're right. This one's sad. He said sad. Good job, buddy. Do you guys remember these bookshelves from Sawyer's old room? I loved Sawyer's room, mostly because the wallpaper, that's what made it. So that's why I want a wallpaper in here. I just think wallpaper in kids' rooms is just like so cute. Look how beautiful this check pattern is. I'm about to spill the tea in case you didn't know. Zara has amazing home decor and even more amazing kids' home decor. Ready? What are you doing? 
All the bedding that I use for my kids' rooms is from Zara Home. They have all sizes, if you need crib, if you need twin, whatever. It is awesome, highly recommend Zara for all the things you need for your kids' rooms, because it's also affordable. Am I missing anything? Oh, I do want to point out one other thing about the window treatments. The downside to this room, love how big the closet is. Truly love it. Chef's kiss, it's amazing. However, it threw off the symmetry of this room because do you see how I have no wall space on the other side of this window? Do you see how I have a gigantic section of drywall on this side of the window? By doing two panels, I actually put two panels on this side and one panel on this side. You can tell there's more curtain on the other side and less on the other, but you're just, your eye doesn't notice it as much as when it's just bare walls and you can just see why are these windows off to one side. And then, as you guys can see, this room completely changed when I added my light fixture. This was from Brody's room, swapped it out, and when you switch out light fixtures in a rental, take whatever was pre-existing and put it in a special place that you won't lose. Because when you move out, you need to switch the light fixture back and you don't wanna lose whatever the original was. Capiche, capouche. Okay, let's go look at the guest room. Ta-da! Isn't this the cutest, coziest little guest room? I am so happy with how this turned out. The space is so bright and so happy and so many cozy elements. Let's break it down and let me show you everything. First things first, the article bedding of your dreams. So this is also that linen fabric that I was telling you about in kind of more of a clay color, which is kind of a fun pop. Not only is it a super breathable linen duvet cover and then a super soft cotton sheet, but they actually just started partnering with Lisa mattresses, which is so cool. So you can get everything for your bedroom at article.com. You can get your mattress, your bed frame, and your bedding. Win, win, win. Okay, the other bedding that I got, so I got a couple different ones for this room because I wanted to try them out and really put them to the test. Look how cute this one is. It is so cozy. They call this their gauzy cotton, and it really is just that. This is a quilt. You could use it as a throw, but you could totally use this as a quilt for like your whole bed during the summer. You can also get the, uh, what's it called? The sham set to match it. But I love that I have different options and I think this color way goes so good with this art because depending on which way I fold it, both colors are in there and I love that. If you want to kind of go with that earthy palette, I think Article is really the way to go because it's affordable prices um, for what you're getting and it's such good quality and it's so cozy. Love this caning headboard. It is so fun and so beautiful and I think it pairs really well with Article's bedding. This is one of my favorite rugs and surprisingly in one of my favorite colors. It's like a brownish gray, but it is my favorite rug to use in a bedroom. This particular rug can shed a lot. It's natural fibers, so it looks so good. It's like a chunky braided, so soft, so cozy to step out on out of bed, but it just would not do well, I don't think, in like a super high traffic area or with food, because I think it there's like nooks and crannies in here it can get caught, if that makes sense. And I just love the color, because it's not too dark, but it's like a stone color. That may even be what it's called, I'm not sure, but I will link it below. And then on either side, I have also from Article, these really beautiful side tables. I love them because they're open. For a guest room, I don't need a ton of like side table storage. And then matching lamps. I think I got those from Target, which are great. They're kind of a glossy finish, but I love like the olive green color. So I love this wall because um, I love this dresser. We had this in our bedroom in Tulsa. I will say, do not let your kid with a Sharpie near this piece of furniture because then I tried to take a magic eraser and it did take off the Sharpie, but it also took off some of the varnish. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to remove Sharpie from furniture without ruining the stain. If anyone else knows, let me know. I love this lamp. This was the only lamp that did not break from the move. So now it's a single lamp on this beautiful little dresser. And then just some simple greens and a simple jar uh, and we're good to go. This room is really big. So I wanted to still have a sitting area both this table and this chair are from Article. These were actually from our Kensington house, which is so funny. I've Again, art is one of those things you can bring everywhere with you. This is a great demonstration, though, of the two different types of glass you can get from Minted. This one is shiny, and that one is matte. But a couple candlesticks, some books, and then a vase with a simple stick of green leaves. And that's how you decorate this cutie little table. And then over here, let's talk about this little bench area. So this is a window seat. 
Obviously, it would be so cute to get a little padded thing, but if you've ever tried to get a padded window seat cushion, it is so expensive. If any of you have an inexpensive bench seat source, leave that in the comments below for everybody. I put panels on the outside here. I wanted there to still be softness. Window treatments make everything feel soft. So having fabric on the floors with a rug, having fabric on the walls with curtains, it just makes it feel cozier. And so I went ahead and put it on both sides of the window still. So when you first walk in, you still see you don't necessarily know that it's pop, a wall pop out. It just still frames the window beautifully. And then it adds that coziness, so it feels softer in here. Over here, we have the bathroom. It's pretty simple, nothing crazy. But this was the bathroom in question that the faucet was left running. On purpose, our sweet neighbor, we had asked him to drip the faucet for us when we did not live here because the water was on and Nashville had this crazy ice storm and it was like negative, or not negative, but freezing temps for like days on end. And these, these faucets are like the wide, skinny, you know, modern ones. And so it dripped normal initially. And then after a few days, since we weren't here, it like caught on the drip and then dripped backwards onto the faucet into the, the vanity and just puddled for days and days and days. And not only did it go on the vanity, but then it fell into the cabinet and then it puddled into the cabinet and then it fell into the floor and it puddled into the floor. And then it fell into the ceiling down below, which is the garage and the ceiling fell through onto Tyler's truck. So when we showed up with the stomach flu in an ice storm when we first moved here, the ceiling caved in in the garage. It was a crazy week. Okay, the last room to see in this house is gonna be my office, which is a really cutie room. So let's go take a look at how that turned out. Okay, so let's go into my office, the final room upstairs. I will say, I'm gonna show you the most wonderful door lock for kids if you don't want them getting into your office because my kids go in here and everything gets ripped to shreds. So it has like a dummy button that makes your kids think they know how to get in, but it's a dummy button, it doesn't work. You pinch the sides and you push this thing down and you can get in. Welcome to my office. I love that it's right off the playroom, so if the kids need me, they can get to me, but I can also hear them so they're not killing each other. And I love that I have this cute little gallery wall. I have this sofa. I've had this sofa for six years now. <sighs> this is an oldie but a goodie article sofa. I will say it pills, so some people ask that. I have yet to see a sofa that doesn't pill, though, if it's fabric. I kind of just have come to expect that. And I have one of those de-pillars. If it gets really bad, I can just de-pill it and it's brand new. But if you're gonna do an organic fabric that's like not microfiber, which I don't like microfiber, with like natural fibers, it's gonna pill. That's just kind of what happens to it. It is one of the most comfortable sofas ever. And it's also great because someone could sleep on this, just throw a sheet on it and it's a nice little bed for somebody if they're staying the night. Over here, this used to be my linen dresser, my linen closet in the old house in Tulsa. But I love this because the drawers open and close really, really well. And I get a lot of PR and a lot of product from brands and I needed a spot to like store it and have it live so it doesn't just end up scat scattered all over my house. So that's why I really wanted this in here. I love displaying these books by Alabaster. They are the most beautiful scripture books. If you are a believer and you are looking for a gift for somebody or your mother-in-law, these are awesome. They have not every book of the Bible, but they have like Psalms, Proverbs, Genesis. But it's just like, look at this. It's all scripture, but with the most beautiful photography. It's not like a commentary. It's like actual, this is like the Bible, but it's so pretty, I absolutely love it. This art piece I found, I think I got this at, at home. It's a great size and I think it was under $100. Couple vases, always decorating in threes. Can we have a moment for the rug, okay? The rug is the most, like when someone says it's soft like butter, they're lying unless they're talking about this rug. This is the actual definition of feels like butter. Now I don't know how it's gonna vacuum up. I have not run a vacuum. I'm a little scared to do that because I don't want it to ruin it. This is an affordable rug that I got from Kirkland's. It is just beautiful. It comes in a lot of colorways. I think this one's called denim. Could not say enough good things. Like if you need a rug and you want it to be soft, this would be amazing in a nursery because it's soft but it doesn't shed. It's just so good. Over here is my desk as you can see. And this desk is from Article. I've had this for such a long time. It's so simple, it's so clean. It does not have a lot of storage, but you can get this little storage caddy guy. This is also Article and the wood matches it, which is nice. 
great fake tree. This is from Target, I will link it below. And I think it's a really believable one, which I like. It's hard to find a good fake, you know? This chair I got as a test for my dining room chairs. I ended up not doing it because I just bought one to see and I actually love it as an office chair because it's pretty comfy. If I can find where I got this, I will link it for you because it's supposed to be a dining chair. So if you're looking for dining chairs, this is a great option. And then I have, I think this mirror is from Ikea. And this lamp I think is from Target, which Tyler says is my Madonna lamp. Here is another room that we swapped out the light fixture. Bless my sweet husband. This one was really hard because it didn't originally fit, but we made it fit. It just adds a designer layer. It just feels more elevated, more expensive, more custom. That's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't feel like a rental when you switch out the light fixtures. As long as you hold on to the originals, you can switch out light fixtures in a rental, okay? You can go on Thumbtack and hire an electrician or if your husband knows how to do it or watches a YouTube video. Disclaimer, I am not responsible if you don't do it the right way. I'm just saying sometimes people can figure it out themselves. And it's so easy to take light fixtures with you. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite room up here is. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. And remember, everything that I have talked about up here, I'm gonna make sure to link if it's available, especially a lot of like the rugs, the article furniture, any art that I can find. Most of the art is not thrifted, believe it or not. But a lot of this stuff, you know, they're really coming out with some good stuff in these big box stores to make it look vintage. And your girl appreciates that, you know? Don't we all? Okay guys, I love you all. I hope that you've enjoyed this part two. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Can you get a shot of him? Brody, Brody, come back. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is this your room? You love it? You want to get on So So's bed? So So? So So? Yeah, get up there. Huh? Yeah, get up there.